Well, good evening, this is Handlock Steve, wishing you well. And I hope you all had as pleasant a weekend as I did. And uh, we finally got a little bit of sunshine, so I was out in the garden. But uh, what I want to talk about this evening is um, a little clip that was sent to me by a friend. And this is a big shout out to uh, a uh, supporter of mine, Jack, in uh, BC there. Thank you very much for sending me this information. And uh, it's just a short piece. And it is Jean-Claude Juncker uh, in some committee meeting in Brussels talking about how they were expecting officials to be bribed and um, remainers, oh, sorry, um, Brexiteers to be bribed to uh, change their vote uh, or to uh, force another referendum. And so it's very interesting, it's very short, and uh, you know I'll play that for you in a second. But what I wanted to address really is that what this is about is that five letter word, that all important five letter word that we cannot live without. No business is able to transact without this five letter word. And that five letter word is trust. Uh, everything in our life depends on being able to trust that somebody or something or some organization is going to do what they say they're going to do. And you all know, I'm sure, because we've all been in several relationships during the course of our lives, whether it be business relationships or whether it be personal relationships, how long it can take to build up a trusting relationship and how quickly it can be ended. You know, 25 years can go up in smoke in about five seconds flat. And yes, we all know how easily trust can be broken. Uh, it doesn't take a moment, uh, a lie, uh, stealing something from somebody, um, failing to perform on a contract, uh, you name it. Uh, trust is invaluable and once it's broken, uh, you may never be able to fully regain the other person's trust. And uh, you, know, you see this in situations when uh, you know, a partner is unfaithful in a marriage, uh, how difficult it is for the other partner to fully believe that this is not going to happen again because it happened the first time. And if it happens once, and of course that is a, a, an actual part of law, that if you lie once, you're assumed to be lying all the time. Because to break that rule once, there's crossing a line that cannot be undone. And so this is why it is invaluable. And this actually, just on a bit of a sidebar here, is why I'm just stunned at the way people behave on the internet, the kind of scams that are going on, when we all know, I don't think there is a person on this planet doesn't understand and realize the importance of trust in any relationship. So anyway, let's go over this clip and uh, I will uh, do uh, the dialogue in type so you can uh, actually make out what he's saying. It's not a great video. I think somebody snuck a phone into this kind of meeting and you can tell by the angle that it's taken at. But anyway, let's take a look and uh, I'll come back and we'll do a quick wrap up. Okie dokie. Here we go. Uh, in the meetings with the uh, chief of staff from day one, he said, no, 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 we're going to not change your strategy. We're going to deliver in the second vote because we're going to buy some labor votes. We're going to buy some uh, hard Brexit deals. Um, he gave, uh, I think it's now more than a month ago, in detail what was the strategy to build up the majority. So when it comes down to trust, is this a man that you would trust? Ask yourself if there was a contract to be signed, uh, would you expect this man to uphold his end of the bargain? When, you know, we can see quite easily that the plan was to do an end run around the Brexit vote and to get a second vote or the deal that they set forward for Theresa May, which was the worst deal that you can possibly imagine. And it, in fact, it was so bad that it was referred to as the kind of deal that you would make uh, if you had lost a war, a complete capitulation. Uh, Britain would have become a vassal state of Europe and that would have been that. So, uh, you know, would you hire this guy as a contractor to do a job on your house? You know, I don't think so. Based on what I saw in that clip, uh, you can clearly see that this person would basically backdoor you as soon as look at you. 
Okay, well, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe below. I'd love to hear your opinion on this and whether you would hire this guy. Let me know whether you would hire this guy to do a job or um, represent you in a, in a case of law or something like that. And in the meantime, this is Hound Dog Steve signing off, wishing you a very pleasant evening and we shall talk very, very shortly. See you now. Take care. Bye.